Hi, I'm Dr. Priya Kadam, Director of Reproductive Genomics at MedGenome and I'd like to focus attention on genetics. Genetics actually has far-reaching impact because uh, it influences several uh, disorders and are the, can be the basis of some of the rare disorders as well. So, uh, while a woman is considering uh, pregnancy, there are certain aspects that she should be aware of and uh, these are especially important in India because in certain regions there can be consanguinity that is uh, marrying within family. It raises the risk of certain genetic disorders and uh, there is also a background rate of a certain disorders that is there may be carriers. Now, carriers are individuals who may be normal themselves, but uh, if their partner is also a carrier of the same disorder, it is likely that their child can be severely affected. In India, uh, conditions such as thalassemia have a very high carrier frequency as well as uh, SMA or spinal muscular atrophy. So the population incidence itself is such that some amount of screening or uh, screening of the couple is useful to prevent serious disorders. So there are genetic tests also available for these conditions and some of the rarer conditions. Uh, so we've spoken about consanguinity, we spoke about background uh, frequency there are also conditions within family in which there is a family history of a disorder it could be down syndrome it could be some other rare genetic disorder which was probably undiagnosed so these are situations in which uh, the couple can actually or the woman herself can seek counseling from experts it could be genetic counselors it could be geneticists who could uh, who would provide insights on the kind of test that should be done what could be the risk and uh, how she can prevent it now once a woman is pregnant right every pregnancy uh, while we all hope that pregnancy turns out to be normal, about 1 to 2 percent, there is a chance that there could be a cross chromosomal abnormality. Now, all professional societies across uh, the world recommend that some sort of screening be done to identify these uh, cross abnormalities. Uh, one of the aspects of this is also genetic testing because genetic testing in addition to other factors like maternal serum screening there can be ultrasound abnormalities which can be picked up which can identify or give a clue about genetic disorders so there are tests such as a non-invasive prenatal screening which can help identify uh, these large chromosomal disorders and if need be and with consultation with experts the uh, woman might want to go for further testing to actually identify whether there is the baby is normal. I'd like to highlight that all women be aware of their genetic history, uh, understand whether anybody else in the family has certain disorders and speak to experts to be able to take care of their own health as well as uh, that of their babies. Thank you.